What's up guys, this is Foedit or FoTK and this is going to be a tutorial on creating car dynamics within Cinema 4D. Um, and I'm doing a little um, Need for Speed, you know, style animation, so I thought, you know, it'd be a good chance to sort of, as I've got all the projects set up in that, to run through a few things just in case you want to know, or, you know, take the things for, that I do in this tutorial and, you know, connect that to other things. Um, so basically... I've got a rigged model here, and it's a, it's a model that I extracted from Grid 2, the game. It's a McLaren MP4-12C. Um, I, I quite like the look of this car, so I, you know, I textured it, and that from, you know, most of it from in-game textures. However, some of them, stuff like the, the brake calibers, and, you know, that that's just a solid colour, but with the wheels spinning, you won't see it, so that, that, that I wasn't really too bothered about. Um, and then I completely rigged it, um, which is, you know, you've got all the wheels... You got the actual body and in parent to the body or children, sorry, to the body. I have the lights, which I'll come to in a minute. And I have the, the doors, the bonnet, steering wheel, wipers, all that stuff. Just so you know, anything that can move on the car, I will rig. Because if you create all that and animate it, uh, it creates more realism. <coughs> sorry, I'm sorry, my throat. It'll create more realism to the animation. So, you know, even if it's a little thing. And then also the windows will come down as well because they're in the doors, all that kind of stuff. Um, now I have got, take that one away, these models, uh, if you want me to put up, put them up for download. However, the MP4 is the only one that is, uh, fully rigged. Um, but I can do a tutorial on, you know, on rigging one of these, um, just in case you want to do it yourself and then, you know, do it your way and whatnot. So if you want to see that, just, you know, pop that in the comment section and I'll, I'll probably do it anyway. Um, but yeah, just a list of cars. It's got the Bugatti Veyron, got the Ford Focus, uh, Volkswagen Golf and the Aerial Atom and obviously this McLaren MP4 um, so I can put those up for download if you want so that's no problem um, so getting back to the actual tutorial now um, I'll go back to the lights uh, obviously I like realism and what the fuck is going on here what the fuck is that oh no that's not good Alright, something's gone wrong here, but I'm just going to delete it because I don't know what I've done there. It's got to be something to do with this bit. Ooh. Maybe if I rotate it. 90... Okay, no, I've completely fucked that up somehow, so, you know. Um, we'll leave it there. We'll just carry on. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a shame. Right, so the lights, if I just unhide those... What I do is I create area lights and, you know, obviously the white ones and the red ones respond to the brake lights, you know, just the, or just the reverse lights and all that kind of stuff that the car will have. So when it comes to render, these will be illuminated and I think that creates a bit of realism. So I can do a tutorial for that as well because basically it's just an area light sized down a lot and there's a few of them across, you know, the area of the light, um, which will, you know, just create an illuminating effect. And then obviously with these you'll have to do overall lighting as well, which I've done here. And you know that'll all look nice and all that good stuff. And I might show you like a render later on of what it looks like. Uh, so if I hide these lights now and I go back to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the dynamics, you know, how to create dynamics of the car. Now, as you can see here, I've got the actual, the actual, um, I don't know, the actual, uh, I don't know, the whole thing, you know, the whole car. So if I just call this car. That controls everything. And then I've got the wheels below it uh, as child of the car. And then also the body. So the body and the wheels are separate. And I'll show you why. Because when I go to move the car, I will move this bit. So I can do like a a movement like that. And then I can also go into the wheels and create a movement there. So, you know, you've got full control of what your car will look like. Um you know, in animation terms. So if I just take that all off, you know, so you can, you know, and even the body, because what I, the reason I separate the body is because when, you know, suspension, um, when the car's driving, it bounces up and down a lot. And I'm going to show you a quick tool which I use, which can easily sort you out for this kind of animation. It's really easy. Um, if you want to go, just click on the body first and right click, go to Cinema 4D Tags and go to Vibrate. And then you've got Position, Scale and Rotation. Uh, we'll use rotation in a bit for the wheels, but for now we just want the suspension type feel for the actual car. And what you want to do is just enable position and make sure it's only on the body. 
Uh, not the actual overall, just the body. Um, and then we've got an amplitude. Now we want, you know, suspension works in all sort of X, Y, and Z, you know, dimensions. Um, because it'll just be bouncing forwards, backwards, depending on the momentum of the car. So what I do is I set these down to one on each, you know, on each axis. And then if I just play that through, you'll see, okay, no, maybe you can't see that. Let's go up to five. Just, no, that's five hundred. What? I should put five. I don't know why I put 500. Right, and if I just do 5 and I click play, you can actually see the car is shaking. So, if, you know, I think I don't mind that actually. That looks pretty good. 5's five's, five's alright. And you, as you can see, the body's shaking. Um, and as your car will be driving along, you probably won't even notice it. But I think if you render out one with and without, you might notice the difference slightly. But it's those little slight adjustments that, you know, you don't notice them on the eye, but in your brain they do, and it just makes it look a lot better. I don't know how to explain it, it's just one of those things. You know, less is better sometimes, if you've heard that before. And you can up the frequency as well if you want it to go faster, so I'll pop it to 10 and then it's like, you know, proper shaking. So, you know, you can animate this if you want to go over like a bumpy road. So you can start off with two, so it's all nice and gentle. And then as soon as you start hitting bumpy road, you can, you know, right click, go to animation, add keyframe, and then whack that up to, I'll just do 20 just to make a point. You can either hold control and click this button to put a key to keyframe down as well. So if I play this now from the start, it'll be gentle and then it'll go into like rough ground. There you go. Do you see that? So that's sort of how you can work with this, with this tool. And it's, you know, it's very useful. I always use this. Uh, so that's the body sorted and I'll just keep that 555 five, five and 2. And the wheels is exactly the same, but we want a rotation. So if we just start with one wheel, go to Cinema 4D Text and Vibrate, and go to Rotation. Now you need to find out which axis it's going to be rotating on. Now I think it's the middle one for me, because if I start playing that now, it's rotating, you know, along the red axis, you know, which is the X axis. So it's X, Y, Z, I think it is. Yeah. No, that can't be right. You know, I, I don't even know because if I, I bet if I do 30 on this one, it will rotate perfectly. Yeah, so I don't know if that Z, if it's rotating along the blue. I guess it's Z. Use this XYZ, not XZY, but okay. Um, just to have a little play around and see what works best, but for mine, it is the middle. So obviously, what I'll do is I'll put 360 degrees so you know the wheels turn. Now, depending on what you're going to do, these kind of do shift you know forward and backwards I usually click regular pulse and that spins them so you know that's a constant speed it's not going forwards then backwards and depending on if your car's going forward or backwards it'll either be 360 or minus 360 so as you can see here the wheels are moving forward so nice and easy if you want it to go forward you want it positive if you want it to go backwards minus 60 and then that will just spin the opposite way it's going so quick, but yeah, as you can see, they're going backwards now. Um, actually, no, I'm just trying to think. Actually, for a wheel to move forward, they need to move back. No, I don't know. To be fair, guys, you're gonna have to look at that one yourself because I, I, I do know, but I just can't think of it in my head, and it's gonna complete mind fuck me. So, um, see whichever one looks best for you. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Um, so I'm gonna leave mine just on 360 because I quite like that. Um, and then if I copy the, uh, copy this to all the other wheels, so you can go to um, hold control and then just click and drag down, and easy way of copying. So if I now play it, all of our wheels are spinning and the car's shaking. That's all good. And then one thing is you want to move the tires. Obviously, steering is at the front, and you can't start adjusting these wheels to go left and right after you've just set a rotation on it. So, easy fix, right click and group it. It's very easy and do that only for the front wheels because the back wheels don't move, they don't steer. Um, so once they're grouped, you can go back to this anchor point tool and make sure all this is set to, ro all the rotation is set to naught and you want to do that for both. There we go, and if you have rigged your car correctly, um, these should be in the center of your wheels. You know, the anchor point should be in the center of your wheels, so mine is. 
So that's all good when it comes to steering. So now my wheels are turning, I can just click one, move forward, and I can just turn one to the right. You know, so then, if I, you know, if I play it, wheels spin in and the wheel turns. And that's how you can get the two types of movement. All you have to do is group it and then animate the group. So you've got two different animations on two different hierarchy structures. Um, and that's how I would work. And then obviously just rename it wheel or something, you know. Something easy for you to understand. Um, I always do right left wheel, front left wheel, just, you know, just so I know. Or as you, you look through every single bit, like what bit's which? And that is just fucking time killer. So yeah, that's what I'll do, guys. Then obviously the doors. Uh, I haven't set the anchor point for these doors. Yeah, I have. Yeah, that's weird. So you can know you can have the doors opening and whatnot. And you'll see all this in my um, Need for Speed animation. So right, I won't drag it on too long. Um, but the rest of the thing I've done is I've added Sky, which is a HDR image, and you can get these either from Google or you can go to Create, Load Material Preset, Visualize Materials, HDRI, and then one of these. And now up here and just add it to a, a sky. And the other thing you want to do is you want to add a composite in tag. So you right click, go to Cinema 4D tags, composite in, and you just want to check off scene by camera. Because you don't want, you know, the background to be seen. However, if you click on the composite in tag, it says here, scene by reflection. So all that. On the material, I added a slight reflection on, you know, on this main body. So, you know, it reflects the road and stuff. Again, more realism, and you'll get the sky, and it just looks, you know, a lot more realistic. And then with the light in as well, which I've got here, you know, and obviously the actual car light in, such as the lights, you know, it all comes together nicely. All the little things sort of add up. So um, that's all good. Uh, what I can do is show you a few renders of what it will look like. So that's the render uh, with the light in. I've got the Bugatti Veyron in there as well. I've changed the color of the cars, red, blue, and white. Um, you know, it's got the scene as well, and the map is actually ripped from Grid. It's a good old circuit map, so that'll be nice and fun to play with. Um, and if I just go to maybe another few close-ups of the, the the grill. So as you can see here, this is where the red lights are sort of illuminating. You know, from the area lights that I showed you earlier. And you can see the reflection as well of the, the, back, the background. You know, it all comes together nicely, and I think it looks good. And all these little grainy bits here... Don't worry about that, that's not the material, that's a reflection of the tarmac, as I've come to realise. I was like, fuck, I'm getting worried now, but it's actually, yeah, it's the ground, which it's reflecting off, so it's not too bad. Um, and then all that kind of good stuff, so as you can see here, you've got lights. And then if I just go into After Effects, I'll show you the various effects I've added as well, just to give you a little bit of a teaser. You know, I've added stuff like uh, motion blur, uh, I've added rain as well, which I'll be doing another tutorial. Um, rain made by um, just in After Effects using Trap Code Particular. That is a plugin, but you know we'll we'll sort that out in a bit. So color correction as well. If I take it all off, um, if you're going to make any effects, I wouldn't put it on the actual clip. I would make a whole adjustment layer and assign the effect to the adjustment layer. Um, it's just a lot easier. You could just switch it on and off. And so as you can see here, the smart, the real smart motion blur. If you just look at the wheel as I turn it on and off. You can see, obviously, the movement, you know, creates drag in the picture, which, you know, it's more realistic. It's not as sharp. Um, and as you see here, if I just show you all, like, the compositing and all that stuff, uh, I did track the scene in order to get the, the rain, 3D rain. Like I said, it's all built in uh, After Effects. And you even get the little droplets as well on the floor, which is you know, really nice, which is why I chose to do it. And then little effects like smoke come out of the exhaust as the, um, the engine's turned over. Um, I have an optical flare to act as the sun, and I know it's raining, but I still added the effect to create some sort of light because if I turn it off, you can, you know, it just that little scene. It just brightens it up a bit, it makes it more atmospheric, if that's the word, you know, to get a feel for you know atmosphere. Um, and all that stuff, and then obviously the color correction will come on top of it as well. Now I don't know whether to use one or two layers of this color correction. One's a bit darker, but I like the cinematic type dark feel to it. So yeah, this is what's what's coming out, guys. So hopefully it'll be all right. Um, the rain tutorial and the uh, the car rigging tutorial can come if you want them to. Um, no problems doing that. The car download pack, you know, I'll probably do these anyways, but you know. 
Um, if you guys want to see it, then obviously that's going to you know be more in favour of doing it. So I'm going to end the video there, guys. If you have any more questions, you know about anything, comment. I'll try and help you out. I, you know, I reply to every comment. Fuck, I just hit my mic. Um, I reply to every comment. So you know, I might be at like a day or day or two late, but you know, I will eventually get there. I won't leave it weeks. So yeah, there we go, guys. I'll see you later, and I'll see you next video. Peace.